Man, what the fuck? People are calling me and shit. So, this is gonna be part three. I'm already ready to leave. I'm ready to go fucking get my canvases out of the rain. My mom's probably pissed. So I'm 41 and I'm hella poor, so this is pissing me off too. Let's go into this rant. So, I worked my ass off to get to be good at what I need to do. This drama came to my life. People were pulling a lot of shit, trying to put me in this position, trying to keep... I like Basquiat because, you know, in his story you can see the limitations that our culture tries to put on people of color, even if it's just art world. And it pisses me off, man. Pisses me off where I've hit those same walls. And I know positive thinking is probably best. I'm not a drug addict. Never been a drug addict. Never been addicted to nothing. No matter what people say. And it's like, but you can't. I don't have a lot of time and energy to be answering everybody's questions about stuff. So I'm going to have to go into this crazy shit that people have put me in to answer your guys' questions about stuff. But I'm not happy about it. And, and I want people to... I can't have people believe in shit. People went into, broke into my privacy and like all this shit. Using this other stuff to have legal rights to be able to do this shit. So my family, people I know, all the people I know, friends, family, all this, even people I barely know. have all come into my world and try to f break it down and... and and to say how bad of a person I am. And that does, there's the opposite of how good, hey, you know, he's a great guy. So I'm used to the, hey, he's a great guy. And then when I got bombarded with this other stuff, like this terrible, terrible stuff, I'm like, oh, man. And then learning that other people put that stuff, some people put it on me, like try to make it extra. So... So, even though people are like, oh, it's cool, dude, you should get over it and be cool. I'm not. I can't, like, just be cool with it. Because I don't want people to use it against me, first of all. Like, keep using, trying to hold me in a place where they have power over me. Or, you know, like, I have goals and dreams and things I want to do in this life time and I won't be able to do it with uh, some of these things and whatever you know I, like I said I'm willing to take the consequences of anything I've ever done in this life but I refuse to be the only one like people that and I appreciate everybody that's loved me and, and believed in me and stuff like that but there's people that come and came into my world that try to do the opposite and that's try to make their life better by trying to just destroy mine. And uh, just because I'm still alive and things, um, you know, things worked out for the best, like for me and in general, a lot of shit happened, you know, like, fuck, like. And it's weird to think that people close to you would do it. And that's the issue is like sometimes the people that are closest to you in your life are your worst enemies. They become, but. You can make your friends your enemies, all that stuff, like, like Jesus, like he talks about, you know. First of all, you know, those without sin cast the first stone. But the other ones are like, if you you know, somebody takes your coat, give them your shirt, coat. If someone slaps you on the cheek, turn the other cheek, and that cheek too. So it's like, it doesn't sound good to us, of course not. Because we're like, dude, somebody fucking eye for an eye and shit, and somebody... Take, takes out your eye, you can take out his eye, his grandma's eye, his fucking kid's eye, his dog's eye, and like you can fucking take everybody's eye out. And that's kind of how I feel. I'm like, man, I'm fucking pissed off about all this shit, but I don't know if it's going to be for the better men in general. I don't want to end up in prison too, beating, like if I had to beat every, like if I had to do eye for eye, I'd be beating up a lot of people people I know, people that I've known just for saying some stupid shit to me during this time. So I'm in a struggle to figure it out. 
I've been in a struggle to figure it out to, you know, first clear my name, but also figure out how to deal with the people that have, that have tried to take shit away from me while I was down, while people, you know, while I was like, uh, it's weird, it's been weird, because no one did it, like, no one did it, like, it was all secret shit, so... I don't hate myself or blame myself for not knowing. I didn't know. I didn't know what was going on. So I don't. But you know, it's the same gifts and the same great. I had a great life. I've had. I've gotten to do awesome shit in this life. Like really, really, like my life has been blessed. Like I've been praised and I've been an awesome dude and I've been like loved and you know. So I can't complain, but it's, it hurts when you feel people have done equal amount of, uh, when you find yourself in a hole and you're like, man, how did I get in this damn hole? Sometimes it's like, well, you could try to see like things that you did that like, oh, okay, maybe I should have did that better, or that better, or I could have did this better. But then when you see like people throwing the dirt on you and you're like, hey, I know that person, that motherfucker's throwing dirt down here trying to bury me while well, I'm in this hole when fucking I was as big I was trying to be cool with that person I was you know so that's where it's at where right now I'm like man who are these people throwing dirt on me right now or through this time and burying me and making me lose shit making me lose family members and stuff like that so I don't know if it's people that I know or people that I don't know the people that I don't know it goes with the territory of being powerful in this world you're gonna get equal the, the stronger you get the more your adversary gets so it's not I understand the laws of physics and I don't want to be weaker than what I could be so I'm trying to figure it out but like like uh, like Jesus said all that stuff he said and then Martin Luther King where it's like um, What did he say? I forgot what he said. Oh, love is, hate is too great of a burden, you know. So, I do believe in the power of positive thought. I'm willing to take the negative. I want greatness in this life. I want to achieve greatness. So, not for myself, for what God gave me. And, uh, so all this uh, all the negative stuff that people have been putting on are, are from equal amounts of people that are that evil or that negative or that they believe they can use their gifts for power, for their own power. And, and you know, maybe I have some of that in me, but I don't believe that that's my real intentions. So I want to find the people that have positive the world is not perfect, and I'm not perfect, and I don't believe that shit's going to turn out perfect. But I'm going to try to to do cool shit in this world, whatever, even if I'm selfish. So I'm just trying to say I love everyone that that supported me and all the people that, you know, whatever. I don't even know. Like, I got so much stuff to deal with. That's I'm glad I got to say some of this stuff in that. That's it. I'm really like I only got so many years in this life left, so I don't got no time to be fake and so just support my art and all that stuff. I'm gonna do whatever I need to do to achieve the goals that I've had, but I gotta also switch it up where, where I gotta live this life to be happy and uh, make myself better and different ways too so i hope everyone also you know, i know you guys are some people are ahead of me and a lot of other stuff in life and i like it i'm glad you guys are doing great or doing things that fix that fit your life and fix your life and i'm actually happy doing what i do you know things could be better in other parts of my life but really in general like i've led a pretty full life you know and uh i like to see you guys do great and what you guys do and I, I want to be part of it you know no, 
I want to share in, in, in real life. You know, this phone, this technology stuff is just part of me explaining it so I don't have to explain it to everyone that I've ever known or t gonna know. This is just something I, you know, I've been attacked virtually. So I'm just putting this out there so that uh, you know who I really am. And uh, whatever, you know, like take it. I'm not here to explain why humans are humans. Like, I'm a human if people want to come into my personal life and check it out. Like, you obviously know I'm pretty open to explaining shit to people. Like, I'm not afraid of to talk about, you know, issues that we're all deal with, dealing with. Or my own. But, uh, but, yeah, you know, if you're a cool person and you want to, you know, you understand what I'm saying, you know, I'm, I'm here for, I like... I like human beings, I like to, I like nature, I like all this stuff, and if we've ever known each other, I share bloodlines, you know, we should probably, maybe I'll see, you. I'm going to be going to the Bay Area, I just know where I stand, and as far as, uh, tolerance of, of, uh, I already said it, so you guys know what I'm trying to say. I don't, I'm not trying to harbor hate or whatever like that. I just refuse to be uh, controlled by other people. Especially these jealous people. So if you're one of the jealous people, you better st and just stay out of my way. Go find somebody else or else I'm going to call you on it. And if we meet in person, I might have to call you on, on it there. And I guess got better things to do than to deal with these people you know it's a human history stuff where the people you know and love and people around you are the ones that become the people that hinder you so if you're better in yourself cool if you're unhappy with your life i could probably help you and talk to you about it but i'd refuse for you to try to take try to take from me to to better yourself so for those people that are in a hole yourself you know, just talk to me real and we can be cool. Um, like I said, I'm, I don't really absorb, like I have a high tolerance for that. I think that's why I'm in the position I'm in as far as in this world. And like I have this equal amount of opportunities as, as have been taken away. So it's a weird give and take thing. So I'm going to be playing a lot of music and going out and about in the world so I really need your support I'm not doing this alone I'm not trying to be great on my own like I really am part of a group I'm part of this American tapestry and I don't I'm not people want to put me in the racist category of, but as much as I could say fucking white people I could also say fuck white people are cool like we're all the same like so don't take my words like for whatever context to take them out of context or to put them into your context. Like I'm a human being and I got contradictions, but it, really like racism is something that I don't like and I don't want to be part of and I don't want to do it and I don't want to be part, put into that category. So you find funniness and happiness into trying to put me there. That's your reality. You know, for the people that are smart enough and wise enough and kind enough to know those trappings are for the weak. Um, those are my people. Those are, the, and I'm willing to help out the people that need to be helped with with their insecurities. So, um, so that makes it good at reason enough to make these videos. So that's part three of Halloweening. I gotta get some other work done. So peace.